What's up guys, today we are diving into something absolutely insane. Remember the Yuzu emulator, the most powerful Nintendo Switch emulator ever created, the mother of all modern emulators like Eden, Citron and Sudachi. You heard that right. Today I'm gonna try the last official version of the original Yuzu. It's not just an installation video, I will walk you through how to fix the common issues, optimize the settings for your device, choose the best the GPU driver and reveal the secret tips that will completely blow your mind. You will find the Yuzu Lost build on the official kit tab. After installation, open the app and it reminds me of the old days. Click on get started button, then grant the necessary permissions, allow notifications from the emulator. Install the keys and add game directory. At this point, you might be wondering which games you should try before you jump into any game it's important to check whether it's playable on the emulator or not yuzu has a game compatibility list so just have a look let's configure the settings but keep in mind that performance can vary significantly from device to device and game to game click on the gear icon then select advanced settings and open the system tab i recommend turning off the limit speed options so that the emulator can utilize utilize your device's full potential but sometimes this can actually cause lag because disabling limit speed forces 60 fps and some games may not handle that well if you enable docked mode it will increase the resolution but might reduce performance so keep it disabled if your device isn't powerful enough in the graphics section keep cpu accuracy set to normal you can set the resolution up to 4x for the high-end devices but i suggest using 1x which is equivalent to 720 for a balanced experience if you are on a low-end device go with 0.5x for a smoother gameplay for v-sync mode i recommended using immediate which basically means it turned off we leave windows binary at the default bilinear for anti-aliasing method set it to fxea set anisotropic filtering to 2x aspect ratio choose stress to window for maximum display coverage enable force maximum clocks if you are using Arduino gpu enable use asynchronous shaders to compile shader asynchronously it reduce shutter enable use reactive flashing to improve rendering accuracy in some games now go to the debug settings here only the vulkan api is available so we don't have other choices Fill free to experiment with the settings to find what works best for your device if anything goes wrong you can always reset to default next head over to the main settings menu where you will find an option to install custom gpu drivers by default the emulator selects your device's gpu driver but you can install a custom one for better performance for this video i'm using the qualcomm Arduino 819 driver to select the best to GPU driver first check your device Adreno GPU model using app like CPUJ then try the equivalent custom drivers from the trusted sources to see which offers the best performance. Now I'm going to install the firmware file to enable Q launcher. First open manage user data install the firmware file using install firmware option. Next open the applet launcher. Unfortunately it seems it's not working right now. Yes, I admit that Yuzu is still very promising and on some device it even performs better than the latest folks. Thank you to the Yuzu developers for creating this amazing emulator and for giving us the chance to relieve and preserve these classic games. If you think this video is useful, please like and subscribe to our channel. No more today, see you in the next interesting video.